Since you're studying electricity and magnetism, the very first thing to look at is electric charge. The key ideas are that there are positive and negative charges, and I'm going to try to use the convention that positive will be done in red and negative will be done in blue. And you probably remember from chemistry that there's something called a proton, which has a positive charge, and the amount of charge on a proton happens to be 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And for a negative charge, to sort of balance out the proton, we have an electron, and that has a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Now the SI unit for charge is coulombs. One of the neatest things about charge is that it doesn't get any smaller than an electron or a proton. So the smallest unit of charge is actually called the elementary charge. And that has a value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs, and it's often written as just a lowercase e. What's neat about this, and the reason why I mention it in the key ideas, is because it brings the idea that charge is quantized, uh, which means that it comes in integer amounts or things that you can count. And then related to that is that we can only have whole electrons and protons. We're not splitting apart electrons and protons. The next big idea is that opposite charges attract and like charges repel. So if I have a positive charge, and we often label charge with the letter Q for a reason I don't know. Um, if I have a positive charge, Q1 on the left, and then a negative charge to the right of it, I'll call that Q2, then the force exerted on 1 by 2, so I have F subscript 1, 2, and I'm referring to that, that's the force on 1 by 2, that is pulling 1 towards 2. These charges are opposite, positive and negative, and they attract. And there's an equal and opposite force on 2 exerted by 1 that pulls charge 2 to the left towards Q1. And these are an action-reaction pair for those of you who... Uh, like it when I insert comments to mechanics. I know a lot of students would love to forget about mechanics, but unfortunately mechanics comes up a lot in this course, so um, I am going to bring it in now and then. If I mix this up, if I put a negative on the left and a positive on the right, we have the exact same effect. Like charges, on the other hand, repel. So if I have positive Q1 and positive Q2, then they repel. The force on 1 exerted by 2 tends to push 1 away from 2. And the force, I need to make that a bit smaller. One of the things about that's important to note about these being an action-reaction pair is that these forces are always going to have equal magnitude. It's one pushing against the other. Similarly, if I have two negative charges, Q1 and Q2, then Q1 is going to push Q2 away. So the F on 2 by 1 is to the right, and Q2 is going to push Q1 away. F on 1 by 2. The force in this case is the Coulomb force, and they have the same magnitude. F12 is equal to F21, and the Coulomb force acts between electric charges. And there'll be more later, because we're going to actually quantify this very soon.